The bulk download option in the All Submissions view allows markers to download a zip file containing all of the submissions allocated to them as a marker within an assignment, along with a grading worksheet, to fill in with respective grades. Once marking has been completed and feedback either added or attached to submissions, the marked submissions can be repackaged into a new zip file and uploaded to Moodle along with the accompanying grading worksheet ready to be released to students. This allows markers to work at their convenience on their own computer without the requirement for a constant internet connection. Depending on your preferred working methods, this can be an easy way to manage the marking workflow. If you prefer to mark securely online within Moodle, please see our video Marking Online using the blue grade button, grading one submission at a time for guidance. This video covers the process for downloading, unpacking, using, and finally uploading the files required for offline marking. We cover how to manage them while on your computer to allow Moodle to cross-reference all relevant grades and feedback once uploaded. To begin the process, navigate to the assignment page in Moodle and click View All Submissions. If you are the only marker for the assignment, simply select Download All Submissions. If students are assigned to marking groups, you can filter the list of submissions to only your own marking group. At the top of the page is a field for separate groups along with the name of the grouping used to assign marking groups. This opens a drop-down list which allows markers to select their own name. Click your name to filter the list of submissions to show just the ones allocated to you as marker. For further details on marking groups, see our video Allocating Markers to a Moodle Assignment. Once you see only the submissions allocated to you, click on Choose next to Grading Action and select Download All Submissions. Your browser will begin downloading the zip archive file of your allocated submissions. To accompany the submissions, you will need to download the corresponding grading worksheet. Once the submissions file is downloading, you can again click on Grading Action and now select Download Grading Worksheet from the drop-down list. The grading worksheet will begin downloading. You will need to prepare the submissions for marking by extracting the contents of the zip archive to a folder on your computer. Zipped files cannot be directly opened or edited until unarchived. The grading worksheet is ready to use straight away once downloaded. Once both downloads are completed, navigate to your computer's downloads folder or other default download destination and locate the zip archive file, which will have a .zip file extension. Right-click on the file and select Extract All. By default, the zip file will be extracted to a new folder with the same name as the zip file and in the same location. You can then move this folder to a suitable location on your computer as preferred. Alternatively, move the zip folder first, then extract in place. This extracted archive folder, which we'll call the submissions folder, will contain subfolders named for each student with either a unique participant number when anonymous marking is enabled, or the student's name when not. These folders should not be renamed. Each folder contains one student's submission. We'll refer to these subfolders as participant folders. When you upload the marked assignment as covered at the end of this video, each student will be able to see the contents of their own participant folder, including their marked submission and any additional feedback files. To mark a submission and add feedback, open a participant folder, then open the enclosed submission in Microsoft Word for Docs or other suitable apps for presentations, PDFs, etc. Using Microsoft Word, either running on Windows or Apple platforms, to edit submissions in doc format is recommended to ensure full compatibility for all users. Editing an app such as Apple Pages may cause eventual compatibility issues in certain cases due to cross-platform formatting differences, so their use is not recommended in this scenario. There are two methods of adding feedback for submissions. Firstly, by directly adding feedback comments to the submission or, secondly, by attaching separate feedback files for each submission within the participant folder. Use whichever is your preference. You can combine both embedded and attached feedback types if this is appropriate for the context, but this is not generally recommended unless there's a specific need for both, as it could be confusing for students. One method or the other should be used as appropriate for each assignment. 
students should all receive feedback in the same format for an assignment. To embed feedback directly into a Word document, add your feedback comments within Microsoft Word and save to the same location under the same file name and format. If you choose instead to add feedback as a separate feedback file, you should save this into the participant folder for the relevant submission, under whatever name you like, in an appropriate format. If submissions are in media formats, such as video, please see our video Marking Media Submissions for details on the recommended corresponding marking workflow using the blue grade button. The grading worksheet, which accompanies the submissions folder, is a spreadsheet in .csv format and should be opened in Microsoft Excel. Grades out of 100 are added for each student in the grade column. Columns should not be renamed or rearranged, as Moodle links grades to submissions by cross-referencing this specific file format and layout. If you want to expand columns to be more easily readable, you can do so in Excel by selecting All Cells with the Ctrl-A keyboard shortcut, or Command-A on Mac, and choosing Auto-Fit Column Width from the Format menu in the Home toolbar. This will display all text within each column with no clipping or overlap. Once grades are added, you can save the worksheet ready for upload to Moodle. The grading worksheet must be uploaded in comma-separated values CSV format, with the file name unchanged to be recognised by Moodle. Simply saving the file should usually be sufficient, as it is already in CSV format, but if required you can choose File, Save As and select CSV as the save format from Excel. Always use the original name with no edits or additions. The grading worksheet can be saved to any suitable location on your computer but should not be saved into the folder that contains the participant folders. The completed grading worksheet will be uploaded separately to the zip archive of marked submissions. Once grading and feedback has been completed for all submissions and the grading worksheet filled out and saved, you are ready to repackage the submissions folder as a zip file and upload this and the grading worksheet to Moodle. The CSV format worksheet can be uploaded as it is, but the submissions folder, which contains the participant folders, must be compressed into a zip archive similar to that which you downloaded at the start of the process. To do this, select the marked submissions folder, right-click it, and select Send to Compressed Zipped Folder, or Compressed to Zip File, depending on which version of Windows you're using. Apple users should right-click or Control-click and select Compress File. A zip file of the submissions folder will be created in the same location. The maximum allowed size for upload is 256 megabytes. So check the size of this zip file by right clicking and selecting properties on Windows or get info on Mac. If the file size is within 256 megabytes, then this file and the grading worksheet are ready for upload. If the size of the zipped submissions file exceeds the 256 megabyte limit, you will need to split it into multiple files. To enable this, you will need to create multiple smaller submissions folders, each containing some of the submissions. Uploaded submissions folders can have any name as long as the enclosed participant folders still have their original names. So create as many additional folders as needed, perhaps named sequentially by adding A, B, C, or 1, 2, 3, etc. to the folder names, and split all the participant folders between them as required to meet the file size limit. Each of these submissions folders can then be compressed to zip by the same method as before, and they can all be uploaded to Moodle together. Now go to the Grading Action drop-down menu in Moodle, and select Upload Multiple Feedback Files as a zip. Then either select your zipped file from the file picker, or drag and drop it into the upload window. If you have multiple feedback zip folders, Select or drag and drop them all here. Moodle will list the files to be uploaded, so check that they are all as expected. Click Confirm. Once upload is complete, Moodle will display a confirmation list of files uploaded. To upload the grading worksheet, again go to the Grading Action menu and select Upload Grading Worksheet from the drop-down list. Select or drag in the CSV file containing the grades for all submissions. Tick the box Allow Updating Records that have been modified more recently in Moodle than in the spreadsheet. Click Upload Grading Worksheet. 
Once feedback and grades have been successfully uploaded, Moodle will confirm this and grades will show in the grade column next to each submission.